It is very sad for me and for others, particularly Nigerians that are here in this country, in, country, in our own country, Nigeria, and all over the world. We are crying today, and we have been crying before. It is very sad that we are celebrating our Mother's Day in this sad and traumatic position and condition. As mothers, we all know what it is. Because I can imagine what the parents or the mothers of the 200 children that are abducted and kidnapped in Nigeria. It is very sad. It is an agony for each and every one of us, not only those mothers, for all of us. Because we, we, we can share in the pain. We share in the pain, to be precise. And this is a turning point, I believe, for Nigeria. God intervention. This is the right time. Yes. I know and I believe that God is going to intervene. Amen. Because this is too much. We have cried and we are still crying to God. And I know God is not deaf. God is not blind. He knows. And at the appropriate time, I know that God will act. God did not create us to suffer. He did not create us to be in pain. But some people, some selfish people, wicked, ungodly, I don't know what to call them. God knows them and God sees them. And God is going to destroy them. Amen. I don't like to curse because I believe that the mouth that I used to pray to God I don't want to use it to curse anybody. But I know that this is the time. This one is unbearable. I feel the pain and I know other people, other mothers, they do feel the pain. Today we are supposed to be celebrating. I don't dress like this. But I have to. Because your mind, I mean, what you are outside sometimes reflects what you feel inside. I'm not happy. Because, as a representative, I mean, as the wife of the Nigerian Commissioner, the representative of the federal government here, I know what we go through. My husband has not been able to sleep well in the past few days because he had to go to, to, to for this interview. He had to attend this one right now. He was supposed to come with me, but it's in another church. They are doing a special service. All in the name of this problem, all in the name of this book parents problem. They are saying book, I'm, I'm not going to lecture, but I'm, I'm saying it as it is coming out of my mind. Yes. The meaning of Boko Haram, for people who may not understand, is that Boko means book, and Haram is something that is forbidden. So it means knowledge, Western knowledge is forbidden. How can people say, they, they forbid Western knowledge. They are using guns. Who made the guns? Through which knowledge? They are using armored, they have armored cars. Who, 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 I mean, who, who, who made the armored cars for them? Is it, is it a, 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 their own knowledge? They do that with their own knowledge. All this is hypocrites. They are all hypocrites. It's hypocrisy that I believe is worrying them. And because of their selfish ends, they are putting people in sadness, People putting people in agony, making people to suffer all for nothing. But God is going to act, and I'm sure by the grace of God Almighty, who created who created us, God did not create us for evil. His plans for us are plans for good, to give us hope and to give us love, not to come and let us be suffering like this. We are suffering inside, and God will help us. Amen. God will show mercy. Amen. It is the time now to deliver Nigerians from all evils. These people are evil people. 
they are evil. And God does not support any evil person. They are demonic, they are satanic, they are not of God. And God is going to deal with them. God will deliver those children, I pray in the name of Almighty God, that those children, no evil will befall them. God will touch the hearts of these Boko Haram people. God will touch their hearts and deliver those children from them. He will touch their hearts in such a way that they will not be able to harm those children. And God will also touch their hearts and tell them, as he touched the hearts of Pharaoh, And he released the Israelites on that particular day. The same thing that God did to Pharaoh, he will do it to this Boko Haram people today. In the name of Jesus, Amen. he will deliver Nigeria Amen. and he will deliver Nigerians Amen. from this Boko Haram. Amen. We shall see them no more. Amen. They are the Egyptians that the Israelites saw, and God said, the Egyptians that you see today, you shall see them no more. They shall all perish. Anybody that is Boko Haram, or has anything to do with Boko Haram, either directly or indirectly, the God Almighty will destroy them. In the name of Jesus, we don't want bloodshed. These people, they want bloodshed in Nigeria, and there will be no bloodshed. The next thing, the next news we are going to hear now by the grace of God is that those children, they are safe, they are released, they are happy, they are fat with their parents and their families in the name of Jesus. None of us here shall mourn over our children. None of us here shall cry over our children. Father Lord, we just thank you. We thank you for everything you are doing for us. We thank you for keeping Nigeria. We thank you, Lord, because we know if not for you, things will have been worse in Nigeria. Father Lord, accept our thanks in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, we commit Nigeria, Nigerians here and all over the world, we commit everything that pertains to Nigeria, O oh Lord, unto your hands. Take control. Take preeminence. Let your name be glorified. Let there be peace in Nigeria. Let your peace reign in Nigeria. Let there be no bloodshed in Nigeria. This is what they are looking for. Do not let them get it. In the name of Jesus. It shall be well with Nigeria. It shall be well with the federal government of Nigeria. Shall be well with Nigerians here yeah, and all over the world in the mighty name of Jesus. No evil shall befall us. Those children, oh Lord, continue to protect them because we know that you are the one protecting them. Continue to protect them, oh Lord. Father Lord, let your intervention let it descend upon Nigeria. Let it descend upon everything that is going on in Nigeria today and that has, and that has been going on before. We commit it unto your hands. Father Lord, show us your mercy. Amen. Show us your mercy. Amen. Be merciful unto us, O Lord. Do not forsake us. You have said it, O Lord, that you shall neither leave us nor forsake us. Father, do not leave us and do not forsake us. Forgive us our sins. If it is our sins that is causing all these things or the sins of our ancestors, we pray that you, that you Lord, you are a forgiving Father. Forgive us forgive us. Do not let calamity befall us in the mighty name of Jesus. Let your peace reign, O Lord. The Lord who allowed this to happen is not asleep. I know this is a setup to bring the end of Boko Haram. In the mighty name of Jesus. And we pray for this nation. There are mothers who are grieving in many facets of this nation. We extend this prayer to them all. That everyone who is contributing to their sadness, the Lord shall send madness into their hearts. In the name of Jesus! Blessed be your holy name. We await the breaking news. Amen. 
with full expectation that the children who were captured for many weeks that they have been released and each and every one of them have been accounted for so shall it be in the name that is above all names in Jesus name we have prayed God bless you for this service.